Hey everyone, welcome back to the course. So now that we have LocalStack up and running, we are going to set up a full-blown project which uses multiple services. So let's see what this application is all about. So we are going to deploy a simple note-taking app which you can find in LocalStack sample GitHub org. I will also place the link in the description. Make sure that you check out the community version branch. This note-taking app is built with AWS JavaScript SDK using AWS services such as DynamoDB, Lambda, Cognito, API Gateway, and S3. So you will see the final output like this. Let me create a note. Wow, so I can see my note. But before we move ahead, let me show you the architecture diagram. So as you can see in the diagram, we are using the following AWS services and the feature to build our infrastructure. First, we are using DynamoDB as a key value in document DB to perform create, delete, get, list, and update operation on the user nodes. Then we are using Lambda to create the serverless function to create list, update, delete, and get all the user nodes. And we are using API Gateway to expose the Lambda function to the user through HTTP APIs. Now, let's start with the demo. So now we know about our application internals. So let's try hands-on. First, we will need to clone the repo. So make sure that you check out to the community version branch. So now let's start local stack. But before that, make sure that you pull the latest local stack Docker image. So I already have the latest image. So now let's start local stack. So I have used extra course allowed origin. The configuration variable allows our website to send requests to HTTP APIs exposed via API Gateway. Now let's finally deploy our backend. So I'm going to install all the dependencies. So you need to run yarn install. Also make sure that you have yarn already installed. Cool. So now to build the Lambda function, run the following command. yarn build backend. Next, we will bootstrap the CDK and deploy the infrastructure. So now I'm going to deploy the infrastructure. Cool, so it's already done. The backend has been deployed. Now let's configure the frontend. To configure the frontend, to use the deployed infrastructure, we need to run yarn prepare front end local so now let's start the front end and now let's try to open this so uh, this is really nice congratulations now you have a full blown app deployed locally on local stack so congratulations, now you have set up a full-blown application with local stack, which is using multiple AWS services. In the next video, we are going to learn more about cloud codes and how we can collaboratively debug with our colleagues.